A son buys his mother a safe house, but never comes to visit Tatiana. Unless he's being hunted by the world's governments, of course. <laughs> Give your mother a kiss. <gasps> Mom, stop being so embarrassing. Pish posh uh. applesauce. <laughs> a mother's allowed to be excited to see her son. Thank you for the lemonade, Mrs. Mega. Oh, is that a Beretta 950 Jetfire Stainless Steel Edition? <laughs> Let me clean that for you, honey. You relax. <laughs> All right. So, since I woke it out of Curtis, did you two meet on the job? You are aware of what Curtis does for a living? Of course. He's got a license to kill. And it kills me that he never brings any girls home to meet me. Just a constant parade of drinking buddies for poker or wrestling or whatever you boys do in the rumpus room. Mom. So how long have you two been together? Mom! What? A mother is curious about the diggle where her son puts his dinky. Mom, get what? out! Stop being like your father. He left when Curtis was a baby. You might have realized, but uh, Curtis's messiah complex comes from the lack of a strong male role model earlier in his life. Oh, look at that cute little tush. Mom, get out! Right. Jeez, I can see you two are itching for some privacy, so I'll busy myself with some arts and crafts. Tati, on your passport, do you want it to be your maiden name hyphen mega or just mega? All right, I'll figure it out. I'm so sorry about her. I don't make it out here that often, so she goes a little stir crazy. No, it is completely fine. She reminds me of my mother, actually. Sometimes I forget what it is like to have a family. I'm so sorry. How did you lose them? I know exactly where they are. Oh, no, no. I mean, um, die. How did they die? They're not dead. Oh. Please explain. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Don't interrupt. At the tender age of four, I was an instrument of war, an assassin for the KGB. They taught me how to kill with efficiency and skill, and took me from my family. By the age of 13, I was a killing machine, the deadliest in all the regime. I killed without emotion, evil deeds unspoken. Sometimes I still hear them scream. Eventually, it became too much. I decided I wouldn't kill for them any longer. I fled the country, leaving my family behind. I couldn't contact them. I knew if the Soviets knew that they knew where I was, they'd torture them, or worse. The only way to help them was to abandon them. And von Nazi promised you a way to get them back? For a price. He has my entire history in his pocket. If that information fell into the wrong hands. I thought I could be free and protect my family. I almost had a second chance. So now you see, I guess I'll always be a prisoner of my past. If you could erase all of pain that spying for your country has caused you, wouldn't you? Sorry, 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 I got my eyes closed. I'm not seeing anything, just wanna do a load of laundry. Oh, wow, this is bloody. All right, resume your canoodling. Well, uh, Mom's probably done with the passports in a few minutes, so we should probably split. No, we're not done here. Not yet. Talk to me. There's nothing to say. I think there is. So let it out. Let me in. Are we really doing this? I'm afraid.
that I'll never be the spy that I once was. That I'll never be strong enough to save the world again. I'm afraid without the old Kurt, the bad guys will win. Why does all that responsibility have to rest on your shoulders? Because I'm Agent Kurt Mega. I shouldn't need anyone else. <laughs> Well, look how well that way of thinking has worked out. I've put my life in danger to save you twice. Everyone needs help, especially in a job like this. You're going to get yourself killed if you don't get everyone who cares about you killed first. I already have. How do you mean? Four years ago, I watched as my partner, Owen, he was killed right in front of me. I couldn't stop it. And that was back when I was the old Kurt. Kurt, a spy is a spy. He knew the risks. Maybe things could have happened differently, yes, but maybe not. You'll never know. You just have to learn to let it go. How? Well, you've already started by opening up to me. Trust the people who care about you, and who knows? Maybe you'll find a new partner. She's touching my hand. He's looking kind of funny. Wait, does she think I like her? Is this because I touched his hand? Well, I guess. Well, I guess I'll, I'll just go. time I saw you three or four days ago I have to admit I liked you a bit but I didn't want you My type. I can tell. So you're into. Yeah. Ah. I thought you. I wasn't, but the mood suggested. Of course. 
I figured when you said Not my intention Good, me neither <laughs> I just wanted Uh-huh, so we're just Friends I guess we're not doing this We're better as friends That was not a good kiss I don't mean to offend It's great to know that we don't have to pretend You're cool with me Till the end cool. But let's never do this again yeah. I'm happy to have you as my friend planet.